Hi everyone, Dr. Michael Mirmanesh here. We are gonna be walking through a smooth glow today. So I'm so excited to be here with you. We're gonna talk about the whole thing that's taken the world by storm, which is smooth glow. And I'm gonna show you a treatment, uh, talk about each step, what to do to get the best possible results in the most safe and efficacious way. So we're gonna start here with our client and go through the whole thing. Here we go. So first step here, we have uh, the application of ultimately our cooling gel. So cooling gel uh, is there for multiple purposes. Um, one, for safety, uh, it's cold, it's chilled. So that allows us to pre-treat or pre-cool the skin because the initial uh, IPL laser device is pretty hot. So we wanna make this treatment effective, but also safe. So what we're doing with that gel is pre-cooling the skin in a in addition, what we're doing is allowing us to use that gel to essentially float on top of the skin. When you float on top of the skin, that allows that IPL laser beam to be focused more perpendicular, more even, and again, optimizing the result. So that's a super important step that a lot of people overlook and think, oh, well, maybe I can skip that one. Nope, can't skip that one. That is just as important as the treatment itself. So the other thing very important when watching this video is seeing that we have our eye shields on the client. That is very you know, obvious that's something you should be doing. However, still, even in these days, we see people getting these treatments without the eye shields. So eye shields, cooling gel, those are steps one and two. Step three, obviously, which you don't see in this video, is to take photos. Photos are everything in aesthetics. They, allow you to create before and afters. They allow you to show the clients their amazing results because when we're talking about this procedure specifically with Smooth Glow, the results speak for themselves. And you know, we're clearing out the reds, the browns, the fine lines, the wrinkles, the tone and the texture, and we even get in tightening. So you want your clients to see all those results. And then when you have these photos, you know, a lot of times what happens is they see their new awesome skin and they forget what they used to look like. So this will even more so show them that you know, this is what you started with, and this is what we're able to provide you with the smooth glow treatment. The other thing that we'll talk about with this treatment as we're going forward, that I think is commonly overlooked, is the forced air chiller that we're seeing slide into the frame there. So this is another thing that we implement at the Garden Medical Spa that I think is very important for other clinicians out there to start doing. This allows us to turn up the laser in the settings and the energy even further, which allows us to really achieve a lot of the results you're seeing on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, and you know that's what leads to happy clients, returning clients, and clients for life. Smooth Glow is a powerful treatment, but if you have the ability to turn up your settings and turn things up even further, you know that allows you to create results that patients are just absolutely thrilled about, and that's what we're seeing. So, having that forced air chiller that you're seeing right there that cools the skin down even more, just like the gel is doing. This is part two of that. So you have your treatment. And then, or you have your primary and then you have your backup. That's you know a common thing that we see with a lot of effective treatments out there in science and medicine. So having that cool gel and the cool air, that's one and two and you definitely need that. The other thing I'll talk about as you see um, our client here starting to be treated is the even application of the gel and then actually the full perpendicular placement of the light crystal. So step three of the cold trifecta here is that actual sapphire crystal on the IPL device. So that allows us again to turn up the settings more, to have more advanced results, and to have happier patients ultimately because they're not going to get burnt, they're not going to get heated up too much, and they'll be even more comfortable. So you see the IPL portion uh, being done correctly here, even application with 20% overlap of the crystal. Uh, even application of the crystal is something that's commonly overlooked but is super important. What that really means is you're applying the crystal slowly and softly on top of the skin. You're not pressing too hard. It's just floating right on top of that gel. And it's allowing that energy just to be placed where it should be, perpendicular to the skin. You're covering all the areas and that uh, allows us to really do this treatment effectively and correctly. So that with the 20% overlap is how you're supposed to be doing this initial phase. The other thing that I think is important since you do have that sapphire cool crystal technology is to actually allow the crystal to stay on the skin for one or two seconds before actually applying the light. This is another safety mechanism that we employ here at the Garden Medical Spa. And again, that allows us to 
heat up the skin with the laser energy, but since we're cooling it very aggressively in terms of the cold air, the cold gel, and the cold crystal, we're al we allow ourselves to really turn up that energy as much as possible. So it's the constant battle with IPL. It's the heat and the cold. And the cold is your, really your protected mechanism to allow yourself to heat up the skin and get those the treatment results that you're aiming for. So moving forward, uh, you can see that wand really never leaves the skin throughout this treatment. Even when we're taking off the gel, when we're done the IPL portion, that wand, which is that cold air, is constantly on the skin. And that, again, you're gonna hear me stress this over and over and over. The goal of this procedure is to make the patient cold. And what that allows you to do is really turn up the settings as much as possible so that you're getting these incredible smooth globe results that both you and the client are there for together. Uh, the other thing that's unique about this client specifically is it's a male client. So male clients need to be treated a little differently than female clients. And mainly what you're concerned about in male clients is the beard, the mustache, all the facial hair. So the important thing to think about with men is how to blend this, but not actually treat over the bearded areas. So if you treat over the bearded areas, potentially you're risking for some kind of uh, removal or reduction in that hair. IPL is the original laser hair device, so there can be some repercussions from just treating the whole face. So it has to be discussed prior with the client about how they want to blend the facial hair with the treatment. So that's an important concept, and you'll see us here, we're blending this treatment around the mustache, around the beard line, and that's what was discussed prior with this client. So we are very fortunate here at the Guard Medical Spa to treat a lot of male clients. They're constantly coming in for IPL and they're loving that the result that it gives them, it gets rid of all those blood vessels, gets rid of those sunspots, that hyperpigmentation. So treating male clients, opening your book to male clients at your facility is going to be huge for you. It's an entirely untapped market of people that want to look their best, they want to feel their best, and these treatments are going to make you look really good. All right, so now we are done the IPL portion, and you can see our client having the gel wiped off. So obviously you can't do the second part, which is the Legend Pro, the radio frequency microneedling part, with the gel on the face. So very gently, you need to take the gel off, and then during this whole time, you'll probably see in and out of the um, the camera here where um, the little wand of cold air is constantly on our client's skin. We're keeping that skin cold the whole treatment. And again, without, what that allows us to do is turn up these settings, get these before and afters, and get these results that people are going crazy for. So that's what you want. Keep them cold and you can really produce amazing outcomes day in and day out. So we're getting into part two of the smooth glow treatment, which, which again is the radio frequency microneedling part. So part one was the IPL. We just completed that part. And now part two is the radio frequency microneedling. So again, the IPL is for the reds and the browns. That's for all that background noise. We're clearing all of that out. Part two is when we're working on tone, texture, fine lines, wrinkles, and tightening. So again, it's the all-in-one, it's the everything treatment with minimal downtime. So after we've wiped off that gel, we start with um, the radio frequency microneedling part. The important thing for the radio frequency microneedling part of the smooth glow treatment is selecting the appropriate tip to use for your client. So you have a number of options with the smooth glow treatment. Basically, it boils down to how deep do you want the radio frequency microneedles to conduct that heat energy to. And your decision making point is really your 0.6 millimeter or your one millimeter. So your 0.6 is more for you know people that aren't as sun damaged, they're more so interested in some tightening, but they don't want a lot of downtime potentially. This is a minimal downtime procedure as it is, but if you can turn down that downtime even more so, I think that's appropriate. And the 0.6 is gonna be your tip to use. When you have a client that's a little older, it's really, really focused on tightening and really, really okay with potentially more downtime, that's when you want, you want to use your one millimeter. Men as well have t tend to have thicker skin, so if you use a one millimeter in a man, I think the result will be very, very justified. Um, and you can see in our client today, we chose to use the one millimeter tip. And you can see when we do the treatment, we're doing, again, a slight overlap. A slight overlap allows us to treat the entire face, the entire area, without missing a spot. In addition, 
we're doing an initial grid pattern followed by an oblique pass. The grid pattern followed by an oblique pass is what's gonna prevent you from having your client come back in a week or two saying, oh, you know, I really love the result. However, I have some gritting on my face. So if you're able to blend that treatment with a bit of an oblique pass in your second or third um, round, I think that's gonna be very important for your short-term and your long-term results. So you can see here how we're going right into the eyebrow region. Uh, you can even treat over the eyebrows and into the eyebrows. However, that's not always necessary in every client. But the radiofrequency microneedling is a colorblind technology. It is a safe technology in, in hair bearing areas. So specifically in a male client, you can treat over that bearded skin. You can treat over that mustache. You can treat over that neck hair. You can really go wild and crazy with it. It's, uh, it's not gonna affect hair growth in any way, shape, or form. But the more areas you treat, the more potential you have for that improvement in fine lines, wrinkles, tone, texture, and tightening. And that's the, really the goal of this part two of the Smooth Glow. We're wrapping up our radiofrequency microneedling treatment with, this, with the Legend Pro device. And ultimately what we're doing here is we're completing our oblique passes to blend everything very nicely. And also you can see here is we constantly have that cool air device in the frame. That never leaves the patient's side. And our clinical end result here is just that confluent redness. That redness tells us that we've treated everything effectively as we want to. And that's really the expectation after this treatment. You're gonna be red confluently throughout your skin for about 48 hours. And it's a comfortable 48 hours as well. We put a cooling balm on them afterwards and that makes it a very comfortable recovery for them where they're up and about and able to do things in their normal life the next day and they can return to wearing makeup, their normal skin products in about a week. So it's really minimal downtime treatment where we advise clients and patients here that they can really return to their normal activities the day after the treatment. And most of the time they do. The results I'm looking for is a lot of the brown spots on my face, which comes from hormones, age, the sun. Uh, also, I am looking for a, youth, a more youthful skin glow. Instead of constantly getting Botox and injections, this will take care of everything. So now here I am back two weeks later and my face looks great, I feel great. And I'd say after a week, week and a half, I mean, my face just looked incredible. You know, less wrinkles, my, my skin looked great. I mean, I'm 53 years old and I feel amazing. I feel like I'm 25.